Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial and today I want to continue into part two of the Adobe Audition basics course that I've started as of last week. And today we're going to be jumping into the tools. Up here in the upper left hand corner of the window, you have a large selection of tools available at your disposal, but unfortunately not everyone knows exactly what the heck they do. I'm hoping that this tutorial gives you a little insight on the individual abilities of each tool. It is worth noting here that some of these tools will be grayed out depending on the mode that you're in. Currently I am in waveform mode here, which means that I'm only looking at the file I've selected. And while I'm in this current mode, the only tool available to me here is the time selection tool. However, if I were to go over here and click on the spectral frequency, display, you'll see that a number of other tools now become selectable. So long story short, if you're seeing tools that are grayed out, make sure you're in the correct mode that is appropriate to utilize those tools. And sometimes you just have to click around to see how to get there. I'm gonna start off by going into multi-track mode and starting with the move tool, which is the keyboard shortcut V as in Victor. And really, this is your basic arrow tool. You can click, you can select things, you can move stuff around. I can even drag up and down to change tracks and reposition them depending on where I wanna place that file. The next tool I wanna to highlight is the Razor Selected Clips tool, which is R, as in Richard, on the keyboard. And so what this does is gives me, what this tool does is give the ability to pretty much cut and make an edit in any part of the file that I choose. Now, of course, this can be used in conjunction with the arrow tool because I can take that clip that I've selected where I've made an edit and then move that around to a different point in the timeline or a different track altogether. The next tool here I wanna highlight is the slip tool, which is keyboard shortcut Y. I've seen this tool give people some trouble before, so let me explain it. If I were gonna take this clip here and make an edit right here, I'm just gonna marquee these other clips around it and delete it. So all I'm left with is this one clip here in the middle, okay? Now, let's say that the space of time that this clip takes up is absolutely perfect for what I'm working on, but the contents inside the in and out points of these clips are in the right space. So if I select Y and go to my slip tool, what I'm able to do is actually just move around the contents of this clip without manipulating the in or out point. See, I'm not adjusting the time, I'm just adjusting the contents of that clip. So if I were to drag over here to the left, the contents of this clip now happen sooner because I moved them closer to the in point and the end of the content here moves further away from the out point. The next tool here is the time selection tool, keyboard shortcut T. Let's say I just wanted to grab this first piece of my clip here. I could come up here to clip now that I have that selection made and hit split or hit control K on the keyboard. And after I hit split, you'll see that it has now been broken up into three separate clips here and this middle clip is edited upon the in and out point of the selection that I made with the select tool. Another cool feature with the time select tool is I can select a portion of my clip and then go over here to the waveform editor and you'll see that I have that highlighted there now. And you'll see that that highlight, you'll see that that selection carries over to the waveform editor and I can hit plus or minus to zoom in and now I can work specifically on this little clip that I have selected. And similar to the time selection tool, I have the marquee select tool. And this tool allows me to make selections on a horizontal plane, which can be very useful when you're trying to select a very specific frequency in the waveform. Let's say I have a really annoying sound that's showing up in the 18 kilohertz range, I can just make a very thin, exact selection along the spectral frequency display, grab that, and now I know that I'm only affecting that selection of sound happening within that frequency. Another useful tool for grabbing specific areas of your waveform is the lasso tool, which is keyboard shortcut L. And this is useful for just making very fine selections. I can maybe outline this part right here and just 
hit delete and it will clear that whole piece there that I cut out by hand. Another useful tool for isolating specific sounds is the paintbrush tool, keyboard shortcut P. So let's say I just wanted to listen to this part of this piece of audio here. It'd probably sound very R2D2 sounding. If I hit the space bar at playback, we can have a listen to just that selected frequency. That's really useful for isolating specific sounds in your waveform. The next tool that works hand in hand with these selection options is the spot healing brush tool. Keyboard shortcut B as in boy. And let's say I just wanted to get rid of that part right there. Adobe Audition with it, analyze it very quickly and do its best to figure out exactly what I was trying to select and then remove it. Now you can see there's some pretty obvious edits being made there. Very nice for getting rid of certain frequencies. So there you have it, a brief overview of all the tools available at your disposal in Adobe Audition CC 2017. I hope this gives you a solid understanding of the possibilities that are available to you to make all the creative edits necessary to make your project sound awesome. If you have any questions or comments about anything that I've covered here, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. So if you wanna see more audio post-production tutorials or continue with the rest of the Adobe Audition CC 2017 basic series, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard and thanks for stopping by.